That's right. It's time for the Flippy Update. Flippy Update. Do you want fries with that? That's right. It's time for the Flippy Update. Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. We talk about Flippy as a way to explore all the new, fun, and exciting ways that robots are taking over the world, or our bodies, and how there's nothing we can do about it. Today's Flippy Update comes from Futurism.com. The headline, Scientists say they've devised a way to 3D print inside the human body. Yes, tiny device. Uh, finally, yes. come on. Been waiting for this it's, one for a while. It's a combination of so much of uh, our hopes and dreams for the future. You know, transhumanism, cyborgism, yeah. uh, taking control of biology and uh, injecting tiny robots into our bodies or, well, let's learn more. Oh, a team of engineers at the university. Oh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> a team a team of engineers at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia has developed a tiny, flexible robotic arm that's designed to 3D print material directly on the surface of organs inside a living person's body. Oh boy, it's, it's about future, to be over. It's over. Yes. The futuristic device acts just like an endoscope and can snake its way into yeah. a specific location. Yeah, don't you love it? Yeah. Robots snaking oh, their way yeah, what could go wrong? into a specific location inside the patient's body to deliver layers of special biomaterial to reconstruct tissue clean up wounds and even make precision incisions an amazing jack of all trades they say could revolutionize certain types of surgery quote existing 3d bioprinting techniques require biomaterials to be made outside the body and implanted into a person Uh, implanting that into a person would usually require large open field open surgery with increases infection risks uh, said Tan No Do, UNSW Sydney biomedical engineering lecturer and team lead in a statement, quote, our flexible 3D bioprinter means biomaterials can be directly delivered into the target tissue or organs with a minimally invasive approach. He added, quote, this system offers the potential for the precise reconstruction of three dimensional wound inside the body, such as a gastric wall, <laughs> such as Ugh. gastric wall injuries or damage and disease inside the colon oh so when they say endoscopy they really mean endoscopy. <laughs> we're talking gastric wall injuries we're talking damage and disease inside the colon that we know exactly how this robot is getting into your body uh. it's not the first in vivo 3d printer ever to be created in 2020 for instance a group of chinese researchers developed a micro robot that could be used to patch stomach ulcers but doe and his colleagues say their robot improves on the idea in a number of ways for one it's tiny oh that's nice <laughs> oh, good i hope it is knowing its entrance point with a diameter of less than half of an inch it can also bend and twist its body thanks to hydraulics which can be seen in a video demonstration of the device so far the team has tested a proof of concept inside an artificial colon and conducted experiments involving printing various types of uh, various shapes on the surface of a pig's kidney, albeit after the organ was removed from the pig. Oh, thank God. I'm, you know, if you've been listening to the show for a couple of years now, you know just the horrible things they've been doing to these pigs. Um, so I'm glad that the pig was dead. Hey, Apart hey, if, from yeah, true, that's true. I was going to say, if, uh, if the pattern holds, then mm-hmm. anybody who experiments, experiments in pigs won't get the FDA approval to continue that's on. That's true. Mm -hmm. Apart from bioprinting materials, the robot could also be used to remove certain types of cancer with the use of an electric scalpel, a needle like instrument that can make incisions using tiny electric arcs. Water pumped through the nozzle could also be used to clean away blood and excess tissue. These various tools could be used at the same time. Whoa. The researchers suggest making it the ultimate all in one endoscopic tool that avoids the use of changeable tools, which are normal normally associated with longer procedural time and infection risk as my ton tied does PhD student and collaborator <laughs> explained in a statement who my ton died though. The next step will be to test out their new soft robot. I uh, got to love the soft bots. 
inside living animals to determine if it could safely be used on humans as well. The engineers are even planning on enhancing the tool's capabilities with a real-time 3D scanner and integrated camera. Lasers. That's right, baby. We got flippy flipping burgers. We got flippy building cars. We got flippy uh, swinging people over the side of cruise ships. And now we got flippy going where the sun don't shine to uh, to patch up the old tubes. All those, all the, those, you know, humans and all their tubes. Sure. We need a robot to go in there and do some maintenance. This flippy. Um, it's going to. It's going to make you feel very close to the future of robotics. I don't, let's just say that. I don't like how this technology will be abused mm-hmm. by. Oh, the, how? Well, how exactly? Well, if you have a. Uh, you look at the plastic surgery culture, mm-hmm. and it almost becomes limitless if you can print organ, organs, I guess, is one thing, but, you know, cartilage or, or something that changes mm. the way you look a little bit. Sure. So I don't know. I feel that this is a, you know, they're saying it's for a good cause now, but you know, you know what? Sometimes you just need a little robot to get up in there and take a look at things, guys. Yeah. And uh, Flippy will go where no man has gone before. Oh, wonderful. Uh, there you go. Not much else to say about that, folks, except for we know that the uh, social engineering in regards to robots. The personhood of robots, the legal, uh, you know, their legal rights robots will have, the love that robots deserve, the trust that humans should put in them. Uh, it's this is really where all that social engineering comes in handy, because if you're going to trust somebody up there fixing your tubes, uh, if it's going to be a robot, you're going to you're going to want to think that that robot has something to lose, you know, like your respect or your affection. <laughs> um, and so there you go. Anywho, mm-hmm. Flippy, there's another one. He's tiny. He's smaller and he's going to fix your tubes.